Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out a couple of new changes to Edge for desktop. So just a quick video once again, just to collate three new changes, small yet maybe significant if you do use the features, um, just to highlight them if you are using Microsoft Edge. Now the first two changes are available in the stable version as well as the preview versions of the browser. And then the final third option we will look at today is only available in Edge Canary, which is a preview version. Now, the first is regarding workspaces and Edge workspaces, which I have posted on previously. And I'll leave that video down below. Basically, are a multitasking feature that enable you to share a set of browser tabs with it, where everyone can view the same websites and latest working files for a project in one place, as an example. Now, just to let you know, and if you haven't noticed already, if we head to our favorites, our bookmarks, and we scroll right down to the bottom, whatever workspace you have is also now in the bookmark. So it's just another location that gives you quick access to your workspaces if you are using the feature, and you can just click on one of those, and it will actually open up that workspace, which I think if you are using workspaces on a regular basis, may be of benefit. But this is available, as mentioned uh, in the stable version and also the preview version. So that's the first of three. Now with that one out the way, moving on to the next. And the next one is a small update um, where there is a new option um, in the export chats when it comes to the new Bing chat, which was available previously uh, in the main Bing chat. But if we head to Bing chat now in the sidebar of Edge for desktop, and as an example, I'll just generate a response, ask the chatbot hi, just as an example. Um, Microsoft now has added icons to the different items that um, you can export. So basically, if I head to that response, yeah, we've got the export option. And as mentioned in previous videos, you can export to Word, PDF, and text. Now, previously in the side panel and sidebar, these were just the actual text, Word, PDF, and the text document. But now we can actually see that the Word document icon, the PDF, and the text icon are all um, placed now in that export menu, which I think is nice. It just makes it quickly identifiable. And these, um, these um, options, these different icons have been available in the main chat window um, of Bing Chat, and now I see have been moved now to the uh, site uh, being in the sidebar and the side panel. So that's just another small little um, kind of a UR change just to highlight. And then the third one is only available in the preview version of Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version, where um, Microsoft has now rolled out an option for you to block mouse gestures on specific sites when you are using the mouse gestures feature. Now, just a quick recap, because I'll also leave a video of that down below if you'd like to go check one of those out, just to give you more info. But mouse gestures are currently being tested um, in uh, Edge Canary. And if we head to our appearance page and we scroll down, here we will find the feature, mouse gesture, configure mouse gesture. So basically, you can configure a gesture to perform a certain action. So as an example, if I if I right-click my mouse and I move to the left, the page will go back. And vice versa, if I right-click and I go to the right, as you can see, it'll go forward. And here is the, uh, the gesture and here is the action. Okay, or the action and here is the gesture. Now what uh, Microsoft has done is they have now added a configure block list. So Edge will let you block mouse gestures on specific sites. And this option is now available in Edge Canary version 117. And although mouse gestures can be enabled in the stable version, as I have posted on previously, which I'll leave a video down below to that if you'd like to go check that out, this option is not available. So being able to add a site and configure block list where you don't want a mouse gesture to be used on, if this is a feature, you do use on a regular basis. I think that is a nice handy option and a move in the right direction. Just one of those simple little features and options. But if, as mentioned, you do use the option on a regular basis or the feature on a regular basis could be handy on a day-to-day -day level. So um, Edge will now block those mouse gestures on specific sites. So that's just three small little changes. I just wanted to highlight for you today in this quick video, just to collate a couple of changes. The first two available in the stable version 
um, the right through to Edge Canary in the preview versions, and then the last one, as mentioned, um, blocking those mouse gestures on specific sites only available in Edge Canary. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.